Hey Potters, um, just wanted to start the, uh, the demo here with our making of ceramic stamps. So here's my, my examples I showed you earlier when I talked about the sketchbook assignment and drawing out your designs. Here's some that's been bisque fired that I've made and kept over the years of different stamps to use for you know your pots that you're gonna be making here in the future. So what you're gonna need first, of course, is your sketches from your sketchbook. I went ahead and decided that I'm gonna demo this uh, cloud and raindrop one. Um, I have several I've already made that I'm gonna show you here, but you, first you're gonna need this to look at when you start working with clay. So clay is gonna be, it, our clay comes in three different stages. Clay right out of the bag is called greenware clay. And I'm gonna write, type this out on Schoology so you have it in your sketchbook. And I'm gonna ask you to put the stages of clay in your sketchbook, okay? So right out of the bag, right like this, this is greenware. It's soft, it's pliable, it's, it's, it's squishy. There's still a lot of moisture and water in the clay. And I can do just about anything with this clay body right now. It's very soft and very uh, manipulable. Um, the second stage of clay is leather hard stage. How can I explain a leather hard? Uh, the best way to explain it is it's like a chunk of cheddar cheese. It's firm. I can still, you know, take clay away from it. Uh, it's still dark in color like this, this dark gray. And, um, and I can still do a lot with it when it's leather hard. The third stage of clay is this, bone dry. Bone dry clay is all the waters evaporated out of the clay body and it looks chalky like this stamp here that I made a long time ago. I just haven't bisque fired it yet, which I'll explain bisque firing later. So you can see the difference. This The clay right here is real dark and gray, and this one is bone dry. So those are the three stages of clay. Leather hard, right out of the sack, or excuse me, greenware, right out of the sack. Leather hard, where it's starting to firm up and dry. And third, bone dry clay, where all the water is evaporated out of the clay. Okay, so this is also bone drying. You can see the difference in my clays here, uh, this being still very manipulable and workable. So what we're gonna do for our stamp, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and create uh, this cloud stamp with the raindrop. So what, how I'm gonna do that is with some tools. I'm gonna be giving you this uh, shish kebab stick when you come to class this week. Um, so you can use it. It's just really handy because I like the little pointy end. It works real well. Uh, you're going to need one of your brushes for cleaning, uh, cleaning up the edges and smoothing. And then you might, you're going to be using some of these ribbon cutting tools uh, to take away some clay. And then um, if you want, I just show the, ne the needle tool because sometimes it comes in handy to get in small little places, to poke things out and remove something. So this is just your needle tool. All right, so with creating my raindrop cloud, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I use my hands and my palms a lot. Um, I got a paper towel down here on my surface so the clay doesn't stick to my table. So I'm just gonna flatten this out and I'm gonna kind of make it a funny, a funny little organic shape like my drawing. And I'm just doing all this by forming it with my fingertips. I don't want my stamp to be too thick. Really rule of thumb is I don't want it any thicker than a double stuff Oreo like this guy here and this guy here. So I'm just gonna start pressing and molding using my fingers to shape because this is gonna be my stamp that I'm gonna use. I can put it down with a, with a, with a um, canvas down or a paper towel down so it doesn't stick. I think I'm gonna use my needle tool to draw out the shape. So I'm just gonna draw the shape out here like that. And I'm just gonna cut this out with my needle tool because I don't need that much clay. So just use your needle tool, cut through your clay. I'll go off to the side 
to get rid of some of this excess like this. Clean off my needle tool. Kind of go around here. Not what it looks like a palette, an artist palette. I'm okay with that. So here is my funky little shape for my stamp. I could have just made it round. I didn't have to do this kind of shape, but I just wanted to be different. I'm just using my fingertip to smooth the edges. And now I'm kind of ready to draw my cloud. So I wanna make sure that the surface of my stamp is smooth. So all I'm doing is just using my finger and smoothing that out. I can flip it upside down and tap it. And there I go. I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to take my shish kebab stick. I'm actually going to break mine in half and because it's just a little too long. And I'm just going to use this pointy, little pointy inch, and I'm going to draw my cloud. Lightly drawing a line into the clay surface, just like that. I don't want it to be too deep in there. And then I'm just gonna draw my little cloud. And my raindrop. Now, if I don't like how it's looking and I don't like the shape, guess what? My clay is green, meaning it's soft, it's pliable. I can roll it back into a ball and redo it perfectly fine to do this. You're going to find that uh, you, your, your clay will dry out if you handle it too much, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm going to make mine just round. But how about we put a handle on the top? So I'm just going to make a ball, roll it in between the palms of my hand. I'm going to use my fingertips here. I'm going to pinch. I'm just going to make a little handle like this one here. Now I'm going to press it down, handle up, kind of keep forming my handle, tap it to flatten out the bottom. Now I'm going to turn it in a circle. I can roll it onto my table. I can use my fingers to thin this out, just like so. And I can have all kinds of handles, as you see. I don't have to have something like what I'm doing. I can play with it and and change it once I get after I get going. But right now, I'm just trying to create a little handle. So now there's my flat surface. I'm going to redraw my cloud. I want to make it right in the middle because I need some room to carve. And I'm using my needle tool to draw. I still go back and use my my little shish kebab stick which I think I will. And I'm just gonna redraw my cloud. I always stop and clean off the edge of my, my, my stick here. There we go, I got a cloud, see that? Now I'm gonna draw my little raindrop, give it some, give my raindrop some space for my cloud just like that, okay? So now I just not need to let this sit for a little bit and let it get a little firmer so I can start taking away some clay. And I'm just gonna, you know, set this aside just for a second. So I got some clay out of my bag. It's a big, and I made some previous stamps. These are bone dry and I can go ahead and check them. There's nothing that's gonna break on these since they're bone dry and bone dry clay is really fragile clay, but with stamps, I'm really not gonna hurt anything. Uh, this stamp here, I put a little indention to hold it like this, uh, which is kind of nice. So if I wanna check it when it's bone dry, I'm gonna make a stamp in my clay. I'm just gonna press down like that. And see, there's my stamp, but I'm not crazy about this stamp because I don't like the shape it's giving um, at all. 
And I'm going to try this one. After I carved this one, I wasn't too crazy about the line work, but I want to see what it does when I stamp it in clay. So I'm just going to press it down and just jiggle back and forth gently without breaking it. And there's the stamp with those that line work. It's not bad. I kind of like the subtlety of the line that I'm getting. Okay. So with the cloud I made oh, a year ago, I'm going to stamp my cloud. You can see. And there's my cloud stamp. I pushed a little hard because I got the perimeter of my stamp, but that's not bad. Okay, so now to carve away my cloud, um, I'm going to take my ribbon cutting tool and all I'm going to do is line up my ribbon cutting tool with the edge of my cloud and I'm going to ever so carefully start removing a little bit of clay without messing up my design. So I'm going to go, I, you got to clean out your ribbon cutting tool. See, I'm using my finger to kind of get rid of those crumbs. And I'm gonna go around and just remove a little bit at a time. It's really important. Otherwise, you're just gonna screw up your little design. And so here's a smaller ribbon cutting tool that I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna go around that cloud, make it a little higher than this background. I want this to go lower and my cloud to be higher, just like this. See? Okay. Um, where there's tiny little areas like the cloud going into this point, I'm going to use my shish kebab stick. I'm just going to take away that clay, holding it sideways and removing the clay, just like that. And then once I get all the way around, See, I got that ball of clay there I don't like. Clean this off. If it gets too wet, your clay gets too wet and sticky, you need to let this dry more and then come back into it, okay? Uh, oops, let me clean this out. Because my clay is just a little wet and you can see it's getting stuck in my tool. And then I just carve away round for my cloud like that. And then eventually I'm going to carve around my raindrop like this. Because I want my raindrop to stand out in this one too. I want it to be raised for my stamp design. Just like so. Take my smaller little ribbon cutting tool, remove some clay from there. And you can see my raindrop starting to come. Get raised from the surface. I'm going to use my shish kebab stick. And you notice there's lots of little bits of clay around my raindrop. Uh, I can clean that up and when it's a little, the clay's a little bit firmer. Just like so. Okay. So I have to continue, clean this out carving out the rest of this clay from around the rest of my cloud. I've done this side, but then I'm going to have to clean this up with a little, with a brush and some water. So I dip my brush in a little bit of water and I don't want my brush to be soaking wet. So I'm going to just tap it. And then all I'm going to do is start brushing around my cloud, the edges. A little too much water. To smooth out any edges. Clean your brush, get a little water again, not a lot. You can't have a lot or your clay will just get sloppy. And eventually I'm going to go around the edges with my fingertip here and smooth all this out. And then I've got my stamp. Um, it takes a little bit of time to carve these out, so be patient. Um, I've done half of it pretty quickly. I, this video is going on 14 minutes here, so I need to wrap it up but you're going to continue to go around and carve away. So your image is raised up from your line design. Okay. And then you can have fun designing, you know, messing around with your handle, carving away a little bit, all that sort of stuff. So this is starting your stamp and making clay stamps.